Welcome back, fundraising enthusiasts, to another insightful episode of Jim Dempsey Fundraising. Today, we're diving into crucial territory, the top mistakes nonprofit leaders make when crafting their year-end appeals. Understanding their pitfalls is vital because avoiding them can elevate your fundraising game and ensure your organization's success. So let's delve into the top five year-end appeal mistakes made by nonprofit leaders. It's important that we understand as we're headed towards year-end that mistakes can be made and mistakes are, are often made. I've made a lot over the years myself but it's really important for you to understand and not make the same mistakes I made. Here they are as follows. Mistake number one, generic messaging and lack of personalization. First on our list is a common mistake, generic messaging. Nonprofit leaders often fall into the trap of sending out mass appeals without personalization. Partners want to feel valued, understood, and connected to your cause. If your message lacks personal touch, it may come across as impersonal and fail to engage your audience. The fix? Invest time in understanding your partners. Segment your audience based on their past interactions and preferences. Craft tailored messages that resonate with each segment, showcasing how their gifts can make a unique impact. Remember, personalization transforms a generic plea into a heartfelt connection. Mistake number two, unclear call to action. Your donors or partners need a straightforward, easy to understand direction on what to do next. Unclear calls to action can lead to confusion and result in missed opportunities. The solution? Be explicit about what you want your donors or partners to do. Whether it's giving a specific amount, signing up for a newsletter, or sharing your campaign on social media, provide precise instructions. Use bold, visible buttons and concise language. Clarity in your call to action ensures that your supporters or partners know exactly how to give. Mistake number three, overlooking emotional appeal. Our third mistake revolves around the absence of emotional appeal. Nonprofit leaders occasionally get caught up in statistics and facts, neglecting the emotional connection that drives our gifts. It's important to share facts and figures, but our partners are moved by compelling stories, not just numbers on a page. How to avoid this pitfall? Weave emotional narratives into your appeals. Share impactful stories of individuals whose lives were transformed by your organization. Use vivid language to create empathy and make your partners feel like heroes in someone's story. Emotional resonance fuels generosity and fosters a deeper connection with your cause. Mistake number four, ignoring partner follow-up. Many nonprofit leaders focus so much on an, a, the initial ask that they forget the essential step that comes after thanking and updating the partners. I believe that thank yous are some of the most neglected things that are done in your arsenal. The solution here is simple. Show appreciation and keep your partners in the loop. Send personalized thank you notes prompting after each gift. Provide updates on how their gifts are making a difference. Regular communication not only expresses gratitude, but also builds trust, encouraging repeated gifts. Mistake number five, lack of multi-channel engagement. What do I mean by that? 
Well, our final mistake involves limiting engagement to a single channel. Nonprofit leaders often stick to one platform, missing out on vast opportunities that multi-channel engagement offers. I'm not saying get so spread out that no one knows where to find you. But to avoid this mistake, diversify your approach. Utilize email, social media, your website, and even traditional methods like direct mail. Each channel has its unique strengths and reaches different audience segments. By engaging partners across multiple platforms, you amplify your message, increasing the likelihood of reaching potential givers who might have been missed otherwise. And it's just like diversifying a portfolio. It's so important that you spread out your message and opportunities to give. And there you have it. The top five year-end appeal mistakes made by nonprofit leaders. By recognizing these pitfalls and steering clear of them, you'll create more effective, impactful, and engaging year-end appeals. Remember, fundraising is not just about asking for money. It's about building relationships, fostering connections, inspiring change. I often use the word friend-raising instead of fundraising just to remind myself of the importance of relationships. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, let me know by giving a thumbs up and leave a comment below if there were things that you especially liked or if there's topics you'd like to address. And let this community of life changers know that you're part of making a difference in our world. If you wish to watch future videos on this channel, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified immediately of the release of the next video. And share these videos with your friends so others in the fundraising community gets to hear this information. If you wish to follow me on X, go to at Jim W. Dempsey and on Instagram, also at Jim W. Dempsey. And if you have questions, go to fundraisingmasterminds.net forward slash Jim and Java. If you wish to be part of a community of like-minded leaders, join our Life Changers group on Facebook. As always, I wish you the best as you strive to become fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.